East Side Rec. It's where I learned to play pickleball. It's where I got fascinated with the sport. And today I'm going to review the pickleball courts at East Side Rec. So this is a little bit of a different review for me. Um, I thought, why not? Let's review some courts and clubs in the area. That way when people are looking for places to play pickleball in the area, hopefully when they do a search, they'll find this video as well as some of the others. So East Side Rec, let me just give you kind of the quick stats and then I'll get into the vibe. There are 10 permanent pickleball courts there. Because we're in the Northeast and this is outdoors, those nets are typically up between April and November. Sometimes we can convince the rec department to put the nets up a little early or a little or keep them up a little later, but that's generally when you'll see them. The courts are fenced in around the perimeter. The fence is about 12 or 15 feet high and there's a four foot fence that runs down the middle to separate uh, the two sets of courts. So it's a two by five layout. There's plenty of space between the courts and I think there's plenty of space in the back as well. The courts are lighted and at different times of the year they turn off at different times. Right now in the middle of summer they turn off at 10 p.m. but starting in the fall and in spring they turn off at 9 p.m. The courts are free to play and all you have to do is show up to play. There are a couple paddle saddles there and just like a lot of other courts, you will find people camping on particular courts. So that's going to kind of bring me into the vibe of the court there. When I first started playing there, things were very uh, welcoming and very open. Like any other public location, there's really no way or no one to enforce the rules. The players there have to enforce the rules of the court. And so at times... You know, people will camp on two or three courts, which makes fewer courts for people who just want to cycle in for open play. There tends to be waves of open play here. Being in the Northeast and not having high temperatures most of the time, uh, that leads to a lot of early play, some late morning play, and then some evening play. If the weather's particularly nice on a certain day, you'll have people playing there all day long. For the most part, there's usually a court or two available, and you'll find people who will let you cycle in. But, like I said, like a lot of other courts, you're going to have people who are going to camp and not willing to give up a court or two because they just want to play with the group that they came with. But, overall, I have found the place it to be welcoming. I generally don't show up anymore unless I have a group of people that I know I want to play with, but even when I do, I can find one or two games to get in on. The courts are starting to show their age a little bit. I think they're four years old, maybe five years old. You're starting to see places where the lines are fading, of course, but also where the court surface itself is starting to chip up. That's not really that big of an issue right now, but I can see in another two or three years where these courts are probably going to need to be resurfaced. As far as rec play goes, this is a great place to play. Whenever I'm reviewing a paddle, this is usually where I go to review that paddle, whether it's me hitting with one person or using that paddle in a game or two on a league night or things like that. There's a very active um, rec league, two in fact, that happen on most Monday and Wednesday nights from the spring to the fall. And it's very difficult to get into those leagues. And people who don't know about it will sometimes show up and realize, hey, we're using up 10 courts for three hours. Um, and that's, it, it, I can understand how that can be discouraging, but it is a rec department program. After the nets come down in the winter, there is a pretty hardcore group of us that will 
get out there and bring our portable nets and play. So if you're driving by and you want to get in a game of pickleball and you see some folks out there who've got their nets set up, come on over. Um, we'll be happy to uh, cycle you in to one of our games. So that's Seaside Rec. Those are what I would call my home courts, and I hope to see you out there sometime.